Boy, what a year this week has been. It's 2020 and we got so many lovely new words added to our lexicon such as stay home, social distancing, flattening the curve. But today I have a new one for you. It's called Zoom Bombers. Yep, that's another thing we got to deal with. Essentially what this is, is when somebody decides to crash your private meetings, your homeschooling and basically cause havoc and obviously invade your privacy. Yeah, we don't have enough going on. We've got to worry about this as well now. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did people find that weird URL, that weird link to join other people's meetings? I'm going to show you how simple it is and then show you six basic steps that you can take right now to make sure that your next Zoom meeting is nice and secure. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So there's reports online currently circulating where somebody crashed a company's happy hour, virtual happy hour, because we're all stuck at home. And what basically they landed up doing was sharing their screen and displaying some adult content for everybody to see. Now, lucky this was an adult meeting. Imagine this happened in your own home or imagine this happened when your kids were learning at school. Not so cool. Now, it's not the Zoom software's fault that this has happened. When you set up your meeting, there's a bunch of security options that you can select to make sure that your Zoom is secure. So let me show you what those settings are. So tip number one, if you want to keep your meetings away from the prying eyes of those Zoom bombers, do not post your meeting URL in a place that Google has access to. A simple Google search will reveal it. So when you sign up for Zoom, you get a personal meeting ID. That's a URL that's your permanent meeting room. Don't use that. Rather choose the option called generate automatically and assign a password. So it's always going to be a random URL so nobody can wait there to cause trouble with you. Very important, enable the waiting room. Go into settings, go into meeting advanced, go down until you see waiting room and make sure that that is enabled. What this does is creates a little place where people wait until you, the host, invite them to start the meeting and to come in. This is a great security option. And if you want to, you can even put some rules and regulations about this meeting, maybe a company policy, maybe put some legalese so people kind of who are not supposed to be there kind of get the message that they shouldn't be there. Right, a lot of the shenanigans happen when people share their screens and are not supposed to. So click on in meeting basics, scroll down until you see the option called screen sharing. Either disable screen sharing altogether or enable it, but choose that the only the host is allowed to share their screen. Don't forget to hit the save button, otherwise it doesn't get saved automatically like some other settings do. Scroll up a little bit until you'll see file transfer. There really isn't a reason for Zoom to have file transfer. It's one sure way to get weird and wonderful malware into your organization, along with some dodgy stuff. So just simply disable that. Remember the old, if you're not on the list, you're not coming in. Well, Zoom has that VIP function as well. Go up to schedule meeting and then search for an option called only authenticated users can join the meeting. Enable that. Essentially, even if somebody finds the URL and they find the password, their email still needs to be on the list for them to be able to join your meeting. This is an absolute superb option to enable. If you're new to Zoom, there's a whole bunch of tips and tricks which are listed down here as well as some Wi-Fi stuff. You can definitely go check that out. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.